So please be aware guys that this is a really early build of the game and what you will witness may not reflect the full game on release. So guys I am back with another First Descendant video and today guys I'm going to run you through character builds, leveling up, progression, how it works, this, that and the other. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so with the beta releasing on the 20th of October, which is not too far away whatsoever, listen, you can expect a lot of things to do in the beta. I mean, there's a lot to do here in regards to building your character, leveling it up, progression, and this and the other. So hopefully today, guys, I can help you out and explain to you what you can do, how things work, and well, just, just the basics, really. Okay, so when you start the beta, you'll have 10 characters to use, well, 9 and the ultimate version of another, Lepic. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm releasing the game next year. There will be more than 10 characters or more than 9 characters. I do believe there will also be ultimate versions of other characters or maybe even all of them. Not com confirmed yet. I, just, I think that's just a, just a... I think it's just a rumor at the minute. I'm not certain. But either way, these characters within the beta, they offer a variety of different playstyles. I mean, here we have Jabu, who is a, basically a medic. We have Bonnie, who's literally rush in your face. Amazing, like the Flash. We have the character I like best now, which is Viesa, which is weird because I actually started the game as a level one and I leveled up to about a level 25, 26. And I was kind of getting bored. I don't know what it was. But then I just, I tried out every character because I was given a boosted account. And I uh, tried out every character at max level for the beta. And although I enjoyed some of them, I found myself back with Viesa. She's a girl who's got all the, the frost, the freeze things. Pretty cool. So yeah, I'm back with her either way. She's probably my favourite character besides Bunny. And I'll probably go with Viesa when a game releases. Unless there's somebody else who's just amazing. But yeah. So. Okay, so you'll start the beta, you'll pick a character. But then guys, you'll have to level up your play. And you'll level up your earn tons of XP just doing the missions that you're be put forth towards you it's basically just a one-way route and then you unlock all the maps available uh, these four well three albion is the social space so one two three and these you can go on to do all the missions in order you can see the hours point to each one and you'll earn a ton of xp when you earn xp guys you'll level up your overall level but then you'll eventually earn uh enough uh, xp to level up a mastery oh. rank which is done over here so you'll come back to Albion, which is a social space of the game, which is this pretty area. You'll come here and you'll level up your mastery rank and this will give you more runes and more rune capacity and this, that and the other. And I'll explain to you guys exactly what runes do in a second. So yes, back to the inventory. Okay, so in regards to your build and what you can do, like I said, as you level up, you'll uh, start unlocking more things. And it is a looter shooter, so you'll be... Farming. And it's like the looting game is like Borderlands style. It drops so much, which is good because you have a standard for the beta. You have 50 in your bag, so you can carry 50 items, and the rest will go to what's like a postmaster, which is called a mailbox in this game. Uh, but you can also break down and sell said items to vendors, which is pretty cool too. But yes, you have three weapons. You have four extra slots here, which help with defense, uh, health, HP. Uh, this one here is for your shield. This one is also for health. Gyro for health. Sensor for shield. Uh, coil for health. And the memory for your defense. And like I said, you'll, you'll find loads of these as you're playing. You can get different rarities of each as well. You can also, I think I'm not sure what the rarities are called in this game. But we're just going to go with rare, uh, epic and legendary. Because there is a yellow variant too. Which I'll show you in a second with some things. Now with weapons, there's three weapon slots. But there are many, many different types of weapons we have in this game. We have uh, handguns, we have hand uh, cannons, we have SMGs, shotguns, we have uh, machine guns, launchers, beam rifles, auto rifles, or assault rifles, as you call them, scout rifles. So there's a good variety of weapons here in the game. Um, but yeah, I've gone with a assault rifle a hand cannon hand cannons in this game guys are absolutely brutal look at the damage to do as well compared actually that's not i don't know what that is why is that is that that's a hundred no it's ten thousand five hundred fifty five 
That's 11,305, but I can guarantee you guys. Well, it's damage per second. I kind of get it. So that just kind of makes sense. But yeah, either way, this is like a sniper. Hand cannons in this game are definitely my favorite. And this is the best one I've used so far. And shotguns as well. Brutal at, at close range. Now, as I was on about rarities, we have obviously three rarities here. Uh, rare, epics, and legendary. But I've not unlocked any legendaries in the game whatsoever. So I'm guessing they're waiting for release on them. But either way, let's get it. This, this video isn't about that. It's about your build and what you can expect in the beta. So you'll find your three weapons, your three favorite weapons, and you also have runes. Now, runes are very, very important to this game. They're basically the foundation of your build. Now, we have runes for your descendant, which is your player. We also have runes for each individual type of weapon. I have storm runes, as you can see here on my right hand side. The storm runes affect submachine guns, assault rifles, and handguns. Torrents affect uh, machine guns, tacticals, and beams. Tacticals are the pulses. I don't think I mentioned that. We have Rave, which... Uh, rave? <laughs> I wish I went to a Rave. Wave, which uh, affects hand cannons and scouts. We have Thunders, which is sniper and launchers. And Haze, which is shotguns. Now, very, very important. Runes are... They're kind of a complicated system if you don't read the tool tips when you first play the game. I did luckily, so I know exactly how they work. Uh, but so for instance, when you start the game, you'll have four or five slots, but you'll get more slots as you level up, like I said. Um, each slot you can apply rune to. Runes you find through the open world, killing the enemies, you rewarded them for missions, planetary missions, this and the other. Um, as you can see, you also have a rune capacity. Again, mine's at max at the minute, which is 35. I think you start with like 15 or 20, maybe. Again, you earn more as you level up. As you can probably see guys it's quite straightforward there's a number there the number uh obviously takes away from the capacity the better the actual rune the more of a number it takes away these glowing ones i'll explain to you guys in a second what they do and what they mean but as you can see here there's tons of them and as you can see here there's also legendary versions no legendary weapons though not yet but as you can see they all do individual things and what these do is they buff that certain weapon type tied to the rune so this one, for instance, Unkeen Electrocuted Enemy electrocutes enemies within a 1.5 meter radius of the target for 3 seconds. They all do many, 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 many different things. And like I said, your build and the way your place are always set up and what you plan to do. There's a billion combinations here of what you can do and how you can work things. Now, the glowing ones. Okay, so these symbols here, I actually applied to an empty room. So I'm going to have to go down and showcase you how you do this it's quite hard to explain off the bat so this vendor down here come this way he is the rune we call him the rune vendor this guy down here I can't remember his name i always forget this guy's name this guy here either way you'll come to him through uh natural progress Cillian. you'll come to him through natural progress to play in the bait i'll send it to him so the runes here as you can see, that's what they're called they're called rune suck it type what these do is, as you can see, we're on stone runes. I've applied three. As you can see, if I select this box here, I can apply one of these three little symbols. So if I apply this symbol to it, which is an A, there we go. I'll just do it now. And what we'll do now, guys, is we'll back out. And you'll see if I go back to that, the storm, you can see right there now there's an A. As you can see, corresponding runes with the matching symbol the capacity is cut in half as you can see right there capacity is three well i say cut in half if it's three it got down to two if it's five it got down to three or if it's ten it will go down to five but yeah as you can see this capacity here is a, a three it's on the right hand side but when i've got it slotted it only takes up two now if i go find another i can't actually i ain't got the space to even try out but you guys know what i mean you guys know what I mean. When you apply that symbol to said spot, uh, matching symbol here on the rune will half the uh, capacity. I mean, you can apply even more, but you do need consumables. You do need um, these right here, guys, which you will find or be rewarded in the open world to apply those symbols to those individual uh, rune slots. And it goes for every single type of weapon as well. I ain't using any machine guns, tactical rifles or beams, so I feel no need at the minute to even apply any of these or waste any of those socket mods to apply symbols to get 
a discount on my room capacity so yeah and it's basically the same guys it's quite a straightforward system now descendant rooms same in regards to the sockets and how you can apply the symbols to them uh, it all works out the same here i've applied one right here obviously this is a lot i was actually testing out with a c for another video and i applied this one as you can see here it's taken up four of my capacity but it's overall capacity it will take up a seven as you can see right there now in regards to the runes you can apply to your character oh oh it's a completely different level to weapons as you can see here we have immunity i mean you will need immunity in this game the end game even in just a beta is brutal so i've got elemental immunity i've got elemental well poison burn ice and electrocution i've also got this right here on an enemy kill 11.2 percent chance to reset skill with the longest cooldown yes you get runes yes you get mods like that brutal we have this here uh, running speed is a plus 5.6 uh, damage immune when using grappling hook i mean if you're trying to get away from a raid boss use that grapple hook you mean for about a second half it's quite good we have this here on an enemy kill 10% chance to recover 10% of max uh mp immediately cooldown of five seconds uh, mp's minor points by the way we also well, guys have a melee attack now this rune here which you'll have to get let's say you'll find open world you'll be rewarded it this actually changes your melee attack i had a dagger for about my first 25 levels and i did find i think it wasn't the dual core I don't think it was a jewel claw i think it could have been a kick but either way as you guys just apply these equip them use both bumpers on console uh r1 l1 on playstation and lb and rb on xbox and you do like well i've got like a wolverine attack it's pretty cool but yeah it's basically it that's basically your ruins and how they work in this game but they are fundamental to your build and that is, I think that's all you really need to know in regards to character progression. I explain XP works as it does in every game. I'll explain the mastery rank and what that does. Um, runes, there's a few more things you can learn about runes. In, in fact, you can enhance them. For instance, if you've got enough materials. So this one right here, I've got equipped already. You can see by the tick. So if I select that, what this does, guys, is if I enhance it, it uses quality pothium and uh, gold again both of these you can find in the open world just killing things this and the other apply these as you can see it gives me a better after reload first shots atk is a plus or attack is a plus 42 percent you can keep going you can keep going some runes though uh don't actually buff in regards to make the room better but they, what they do is they they discount the capacity let me try and find you one um, you see this one here if i level it up it takes down the capacity which is also another good thing so that's cool keep that in mind as well we also guys have you can dismantle your runes here and i think you get i have dismantled one and we dismantle another one just for this video's purpose you know what i'm saying people that's what we do now i'm going to dismantle one of these i ain't really using it so i dismantle i get these 500 quality polyphium materials again used to do other things with runes which is cool but, 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 but i got 10 million i should get another uh 500 for that a bit slow but it's a bear we forgive it but now we can also combine runes now this is a system i understand how it works but i don't at the same time now i think if you just select four mods or four runes and put them in i'm just going to do all these four you can combine them it takes 60 of 60 000 of your gold but i don't think the rune that you end up with has anything i think it's random i really do think it's random I'm not certain, but I do think it's random. It's going to combine for me in a second. Hopefully, my game don't freeze. There we go. We've got Wave uh, Focus Magazine. So that's a Wave Rune. Fire rate, 12% fire rate. 12% uh, fire rate and rounds per minute of a plus 26%. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, guys. And yeah, there we go. That's another brand new rune, which I haven't had already. So that's good. We also have, well, you know about this. They apply the rune socket. Apply a symbol to said uh, socket. And that means you only can get a discount on said rune in that spot if it's got the matching symbol. Simple as that. And max rune capacity. If you want to upgrade, you can. You can get even more by using those energy activators, which is another material, which I think I've got some here. Let me show you them. Is it... I'm not even sure. You know, there's so many of them since I've been playing. 
I haven't actually had any of these drop. These were given to us, so I've got these here. This is them. But they do drop. I think they're probably from the raid bosses. Uh, but yes, these are what you'll use. No, is that wait, no, is that not what you use? I'm not even sure. It's one of these anyway. It's one of these materials, guys. It's one of these. It could be that one. Or is this one? I'm not even sure. Oh, it's the energy activator. You said it, didn't it? What am I? I'm a fucking idiot. E excuse me, I'm tired. But yeah. So you can apply if you want to level up your character in regards to its room capacity, you can. And it's quite a uh, quite a move, to be honest. I'm going to go up a bit further. You know what? I might as well go up to 70. I think 70 might be max then. That's cool. So then I can just go then down to my descendants runes. I got. I can get rid of that if I want to. I can swap this for a bigger one. One that uses whatever. I can swap them all actually. These lower level ones here. These fives. These fives. Well, it's it's it's, five, it's setting five on four as whatever. But yeah, you guys know what I mean. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. I mean, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to play for. Uh, and this is just a beta. Things will probably change. In fact, I'm, I'll probably guarantee they will change before the full game's release. But there we have it guys, I think that's all you need to know really. It's just a basic system of leveling up your character through playing the stories, killing the enemies, farming bosses, earning XP. Then you can go and spend that XP on mastery ranks, which again gives you increased uh, rune slots, rune capacity, and this and the other. But yep guys, there we have it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.